Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you an alternative way of producing a hexagonal tessellation. You can also see I've got a video uh, in my Inkscape for Teachers channel on, uh, that shows octagons and squares, a more complex, slightly more complex tessellation, but uh, here's a simpler one. Start with the polygon tool and let's change the number of vertices to 6 and make sure polygon selected. Control Shift you can get hexagons to lie flat so drag one out like that it's okay let's maybe make a bit smaller actually I might make a bit smaller still I can always zoom in okay now if we control D to duplicate and snap control D just keep snapping like that if yours isn't snapping ensure that snap to custom nodes is on that seems to do it you can always try other ones as well if you're having trouble Okay, now we just need a rectangle or a square that uh, we can base on what we've drawn so far that can repeat. I'll show you if we click the rectangles tool and snap to that cusp node there, then to there. Actually, uh, I might, uh, if I did that, I'll show, if I stop there and imagine just the area in this rectangle won't, won't tessellate as I want because these two little bits at the side don't form a full hexagon. But I'll turn on midpoint snapping and we'll drag this to uh, not there, sorry that was intersection snapping midpoint snapping is there and I'll drag that to snap there now I'll drag this along and I'll try this corner maybe snap it to the midpoints you can see now in this section here there are half hexagons that will tile horizontally vertically we're okay with half hexagons as well now change the colour to what you like if you want to change them shift click that, them and you know, change it to a, a, a yellow whatever but um, it's important we use clipping here we're going to use this rectangle to clip those hexagons to the rectangular shape and that clip will divide the borders in half where it uh, overlaps uh, which we want because we don't want double borders when we tessellate anyway select everything now and go to object, clip and set and there's our repeated unit you can see our sort of thin bits at the top but they'll be uh, fully thick when they're joined with others now we'll select that and alt i to convert it to a pattern so there's our little unit pattern you can see it's actually changed from, by me dragging it because I haven't got to uh, move the pattern with the fill there but uh, that doesn't matter let's um, click a rectangle there and drag out a big rectangle notice anything that uh, shows nodes actually show them on there but we'll get them back in a minute with the node tool and show you what they do but uh, with a big rectangle selected I might just leave it there go to pattern fill and it puts in the last pattern if you can't see the pattern you want it'll be the last in this list here so you can see there we've got a tessellation if I drag that around it moves but if I click that icon there now I drag it around, it stays the same. Now I'll show you the, what I meant by the nodes. End for the node tool, and you can see there, here, this little cross here, I think it controls the center of the tessellation. I'll drag it to the side there. This square here controls the spacing, so I can do things like that, even compress them. Control Z. If you want it proportional, control drag the square and you can get uh, large or very small oops try again in a second stage tessellation there the circle if you want to rotate it you can do that or control Z if you want to go in 15 degree increments you can do that and get uh, up that way whatever you like so it's a very powerful way of tessellating using the pattern fill one advantage is you can even tessellate uh, curved objects or any shaped objects for that matter. I draw a circle, control shift, drag from the outside and the pattern fill, I can apply that as well. Again, in for the node tool and if you scroll out, just be careful you don't pick a node on the circle. It's these separated nodes here. Sometimes you have to pan out a bit to find them. Drag the cross down to where you want it. Don't worry if it moves the pattern you can always move it back using this. And again control drag the square to drag it in or out and if you have trouble I'm having a bit of trouble dragging it uh, there it is you can do it in two stages so 
control drag, control drag two or three stages if you need to. So there's a way of uh, producing tessellations in any shape using the pattern fill. Thanks for watching.